Okay, so here we are uh, in the nav station, ready to collect a group file so we can do a little navigation, figure out where we're going today. Um, first thing to do is to turn on the fleet, the uh, internet connection, which is a satellite antenna that allows us a, a data connection for the um, for anything we want to do on the internet or with email or anything like that. So we connect here. While that's connecting, we can go to UGRIB, which is where we get our GRIB files. A GRIB file is a uh, nothing more than a computerized data file, which tells uh, wind data for uh, <clears throat> all of the areas where you uh, where you want, where you're sailing, all over the world. So over here on the left, we uh, we select the file that we want, a European model, an American model, whatever. In our case, the uh, the European model seems to be uh, generally better down here, so that's what we use most of the time. And then here we select uh, the area on the screen where we want the group file to actually show. And uh, at the bottom there's a readout showing latitude and longitude so I can figure out how far south and how far east and west I want to go. And then more or less just download the file, and that takes a few minutes. You can see in the bottom right it's uh, it's in the process of requesting the file and then it downloads it automatically and sticks it in a folder where you can uh, access it with Adrena, which is the program we use to, uh, you know, to navigate. Down here you have the readout. <clears throat> file is done. Decompressed. There we go. Close UGRIB. Disconnect the fleet. Next step is to go to Adrena. This is an old grib file, as you can see, if you look carefully, and maybe you see on the race viewer at home, it shows wind arrows, and uh, ours is nice, and it's pretty colors. Uh, the brighter the color and more yellow, the more wind down the southwest here, there's plenty of breeze. Where we are here, there's still plenty of breeze. As we progress further, <clears throat> the breeze gets to be less and less, and then this is the uh, this is South Island of New Zealand, if you can see the cursor, where there isn't very much breeze. So, as right now we have a routage, uh, which is basically virtually sailing our boat through the weather that's predicted and it tells us where to go and in this case we're just going straight. So what we're going to do is turn off this uh, grip file. So here you have uh, the boat and the South Island and then we're going to do a new routage. <clears throat> the routage calculates from now from here to Cook Strait, and we picked the new group file for today. Open that up, and then do the calculation. So here's the group file. Here's the uh, the computer doing the calculations of where we want to go and what wind strengths we're going to have until it reaches the destination we're looking for, which is the uh, the tip of Cook Straits here, the entrance to Cook Straits. It says uh, finished calculating 21 hours to get there which uh, is pretty reasonable. So, <clears throat> we zoom out a little bit. We have a better idea. Here's the North Island, here's the South Island, here's us. Some of our competitors, uh, Mirabeau here, Hugo Boss here, Moreno, Estrella Dam, Group Bell, Map Frey down here already past the island. And uh, we're off. So that's uh, navigation in a nutshell.